Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your full moon reading. Now, um, of course, right, the full moon is the highest peak of energy output, right? So the moon cycle being one of manifestation, we can kind of see the full moon being a point of clarity, a point of culmination, of fruition in some capacity that regards the intentions that we set. Now, um, the moon cycle can kind of be seen in two ways. One is macro and one is micro. So the micro moon cycle that occurs is monthly, right? Starting with the new moon at the very sort of tail end of the previous month or beginning of this month. For us, it was, uh, for this month, it was, I believe, on the 26th or 27th of March. So um, nonetheless, right, the new moon leading to the full moon, both within about a month's range. So that's one ma that's one micro um, cycle of manifestation. Okay. Then you have though the macro cycle of manifestation, which um, takes place in six month intervals. So, and the way we see that is, um, right, every new moon in a certain sign corresponds to a full moon in the same sign, and they're always going to be six months apart. So, when you think of it in that way, right, you got to think back six months prior to now, what kind of intentions you were um, uh, focusing intently on, right, setting into motion. As it was around that time, right, the, uh, the new moon in Libra, that corresponds with this full moon in Libra. So whatever um, was kind of happening since six months prior to now, you may be seeing is coming to fruition in some capacity um, today. Okay, so let's see. Um, yes, it's a lovely time, a lovely time to take stock, right? To really um, um, assess, right? Take a step back and think, how am I exerting my fire energy? Right? Because the full moon is associated with the fire element. Um, that being right tied to our creative reserves, our self-will. Right? And so fire energy, just like any other element, has a conducive, positive manifestation and one that is maybe not so helpful. Right, Fire being tied to anger, rage. But also to manifestation, right? The spark of life, creativity, inspiration, confidence, courage. So um, it's a beautiful time, right? To take note of how is this energy within myself coming coming out? And we all have fire, right? We all have fire, some of us more so than others, depending on the elements in your chart, um, your astrology chart. But regardless, right? Um, it's, it's, we're all magicians at the end of the day. Right? And the Magician card reminds us of that, that it's that alchemical balance between all of the elements of our being and whatever propensity, right, we have them, right? It's that art of, um, of, um, of working with every sort of um, um, chemical, right, that comprises us to create further. So cycles of manifestation within cycles of manifestation. And again, right, it's taking stock, right, of that fire element that we're working with. How is it, how are we wielding that wand? Um, and so I hope that this reading sheds some light on that for you guys. And um, we will begin. Hello, Cancer. How are you all? Let's see, you just came out with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, um, you're absolutely uh, at a turning point here, at a turning point. There is an awareness and awakening in some kind of way. Eight, an eight, two eights for you. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and it's very interesting. Wow, uh, because the Eight of Pentacles is a heavy, heavy energy. It's like a heavy earth energy. <laughs> All right, it's um, kind of like the swords, right? Eight of swords. But the way that these cards fluttered out was literally like the wings of a butterfly, okay? It was like, la, la, la. you know, it was like pentacles, like, I ain't got no pentacles. Like, I am, 
right? Just, I'm just, I'm just flying, I'm soaring. So there's this feeling of release. There's this feeling of release, of aha moment, of, 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 of being ready to let go of whatever has been holding us down, holding us down. And there's even an awareness, a clarity that, that something has perhaps been holding us down in some capacity. Right? And it could be our own doing, it could be right, a project that we're just overly consumed by, that we put so much of ourselves into, right? Cancer, you have that propensity in you to absolutely dedicate yourself wholly to whatever it is that you care deeply about, right? Whatever you feel very much indebted to, whatever you feel very responsible for, you really, you, it's like that, um, it consumes you. So, and of course, depending on the other planets in your chart, right, where they are and, and whatnot, but... There is this uh, desire to be released, okay, like a bird from its cage, from whatever has marked um, a period of intense responsibility, focus for us. And I'm so sorry, one second. Bandit is barking. Bandit! So, um, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, cancer. You have the three of cups in reverse, overlaying the six, yes, the six of swords uh, in reverse, overlaying the seven of swords in reverse, overlaying the ace of wands in reverse, and overlaying the two of pentacles in reverse. So, whatever this is, whatever this awareness is, whatever this awakening is, whatever this very clear sort of vision of, of what it is that we have been contributing to and how that is contributing to our personal growth as an individual regards your relation to the outside world, to your social environment, your social relationships, right? How do they help or hinder me? How does what I contribute to on a collective macro scale um, contribute to my uh, personal development as an individual? Right? And there may be a need to set down right, um, the ways that we view ourselves within our environment, within right, social constructs, whatever ideologies we hold, have held on to in the past somehow um, is under review. Okay, whoa, <laughs> whoa, did you guys see that? <laughs> that was like, that was like, hi-ya, like Fruit Ninja out of the spread. Like, I am... I am, uh, I'm done with this. Like, whatever this is, like, I'm done with this. You're really done with something, Cancer. I will say that. Like, you, you're, like, um, unabashed, okay, with how done you are, with whatever this is. And so you're, there's an uprising that we're seeing here, and there's absolutely a speaking out about your truth. There is a clarity even that you come to. You're no longer just complacent with pretending, like, this is satisfying for me when it's really not, when I feel overpowered, overshadowed in some way, overpowered, overshadowed by, you know, the ideologies of others maybe even, or how others want to live their life. How does that infiltrate, right, the way that I feel I should be living my life maybe as an individual? So the most liberating path, Cancer, I feel focus on that, focus on that. Liberation here is big for you, okay? Um, and that which you feel will really speak to this free flight, okay? This, um, this transformation of self, pursuing a path of ultimate independence, of satisfaction, okay, of transformation. Now, p underpinning that is the Ace of Wands in reverse, overlaying the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So there is a new beginning of waiting. Oh, waiting. That will come by way of you fully, fully, fully clarify, excuse me, clarifying what it is, right? The thought patterns that hold us back in some kind of way from pursuing our truth, right? What holds down this um, inborn flame, right? The light, the spark of fire, of passion, of drive. What is that that holds us back from it? And what holds us back from this ultimate transformation? I feel that you are, you are aware, you're aware okay, of it. And I feel this is new. This is just kind of like, ju has just sort of uh, come about, right? This, this awakening, this realization, of course, right? Full moon awakening realization, but now what awaits you is this direction, this forward movement, okay? To which point you're going to really think about, right? How do I want to stabilize myself as, as I, as I um, embark upon this new path? As the butterfly that just 
uh, was released from this cocoon, this old world. How do I want to reform, reshape my perception of stability? Okay, and even of my reality. Because as we see it here, the butterfly is somewhat bound, right, to a certain circumstance. As are these three birds as well, right? But here, right, once the butterfly is free, the butterfly is free to move, is free to roam. And with that comes a change in perception, a relativity. So it's almost like your perception of life changes once you become mobile. Okay, so once you fully, fully, right, uproot yourself from whatever this predicament was that somehow um, held you, held you, held you down or back or, or caused you to hold back from speaking out about what is true to you, what's real for you, and illuminating what are the even, what are the ways that I've been, right, the self-talk, how, how have I been talking myself through this whole thing, justifying, right, maybe why I should not speak out about what is true to me, you're now realizing there needs to be a complete uprooting of that and a change, right? And I need to take the stand. The stand is up to me to take, okay? And I just have to take it. I just have to take that wand and wield it. And that will begin the process of self-discovery, okay? And that process will speak to inborn stability that comes by way of your own doing, your own making, your actions, your actions as an individual, harnessing your fire energy will ultimately lead you to a greater sense of stability. So as you harmonize and you stabilize with yourself and you act from a place of strong self-will, right, resisting odds, so to speak, that are especially circumstantial, that are especially have to do with your environment and those around you who may hold conflicting views, there is this uprising. Okay, of self. So, a beautiful process underway for you, Cancer. This is lovely energy, um, right? And so, I hope that this reading was helpful for you. Please feel free to tune into your Ascendant Rising or Moon sign as well, as oftentimes those will provide you with further insights into your situation. I know that I resonate a lot with my moon, so if you don't know your signs, though, um, you can click the link below in the description box that I provide, and that will um, allow you to enter in your birth details, and that will compute your signs for you. However, just make sure that your birth time is correct, even down to the very minute, as that can change a few signs here and there. Okay, so thank you so much again, Cancer. Enjoy the full moon and I will see you guys soon.